What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. It's time to continue on with more Blood and Wine, and we're going to be getting started off with No Place Like Home and getting my villa all pimped out. So you might be wondering why we're deciding to do this now uh, after just finishing up the upgrade thing. So just to add a little context into why I would suggest knocking this out, if we go into here, you can see that getting the later tiers, you need increasingly higher numbers of mutagens. Now, of course, we can now do mutagens with alchemy, um, switching one type into another. So turning your reds into greens or blues or vice versa. But you may notice, scrolling down here, that we are missing one distinct ingredient, and that is Nazari Basil. Well, your Nazari Basil comes from the villa in the DLC. The ability to switch mutagens, switching, um, you know, red into blue, or red into green, or even blue into red, whatever the case is, comes along with this DLC. So, of course, um, you know, a lot of the materials you need to accomplish that come from your villa. So, either way, let's get No Place Like Home kicked on off so that we can finalize our build. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Pienco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Kedweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, Misfortune struck, and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. <clears throat> all right. Let's see what we got. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path.
the servants quarters i occupy the green home with the duchess's permission i have hired a full staff their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasury nice of her not the most sightly part of the estate i admit but i think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays Man, Yen finds out about this. She's going to be moving on out. Vines in this part of the estate are rooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. And Dandelion can't find out about this. He'd never leave. One of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. Have to try it one of these days. Cheap shenanigans. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. <laughs> This guy needs to keep walking. He keeps, like, stutter-stepping every time I catch up. Monsieur Bolius, his wife, Nina, kept a garden here. <gasps> a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory. And once again, planting it with herbs and other vegetation. I'm guessing that will be where I get my basil from. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> you spread some nastiness to me! This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Even a horse drops if you ride it at a constant gallop. <coughs> the cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. And lo and behold, I see better. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, 
slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Follow me, please. <clears throat> this tour is uh, taking a bit long. I'd like to start upgrading my vineyard, please. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. One must admit, time has taken its toll. If, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Mm, grounds beam. Uh, nice to improve that. Got these spacious grounds. Mm, but maybe it's time to make them more... Uh, useful. Oh, yes! We certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Then send out for one, please. A high-quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorous tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Good. Order me up immediately, sir. I expect it will. Will you be needing. All right. <clears throat> yes, we will. We need to, uh. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. This should be 5,000, I believe. Oh, the residents positively sparkle afterwards. But we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. It's in your hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything... That's... All right. So, let's uh, check out the... What is this? There's money stacks here. Oh, no, it's books, because it's a bookcase. Ha. Huh. You're waiting for your bed to be replaced. You cannot use it now. Oh, I can place trophies in here? That's pretty badass. It's kind of a uh, Skyrim-esque. I don't think I actually have anything in my stash. No, I do not. All right. Well, we need to wait three days. So let's uh, let's do it right here, I guess. And 
and then following this, it should be 2,000 to get a uh, greenhouse put in. And after that, I should be able to get the last item that I need to begin uh, all my mutations alchemy. I actually already picked up the first mutation, but uh, that's the, the blood one, and it's just not that good. As for those curious, exactly what it is. Now, each time you're injured, it's that one. Um, and I can get it up to like 300%, but uh, it just it doesn't work right. I don't know if the the um, I don't know what the damage is based off of. Because I with my toxicity, I get up to like 360% damage. But damage of what is it? 300% of what I could typically do. 300% of what the enemy did. Either way, I, I, you know, let some enemies hit me. Um, some specters, that didn't really do much. Tried on boars, saw little, little bits of damage, and then tried on some bandits, and once again, kind of relatively low damage. So we're not going to be using that. Instead, we're going to be getting one even better. Um, in particular, for those that are curious, we are going to be going for this. You know, a, um, based on toxicity... This should be somewhere in the range of 160% for me, which is going to be pretty absurd, especially with the, the signs. Even though I rarely use them, that's a huge, huge boost to sign intensity. Um, and then, of course, you can see we also changed up a little bit more. We now have Endure Pain on, which gives us um, an extra huge chunk of maximum vitality since we're constantly fighting above the safe threshold. We basically, um, I went, noticed that I had missed a couple of uh, decoctions, so I went and picked up those recipes. Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Yeah, Al Ghul I've been missing, and then the other two I've made already, but they were Troll and... Um, troll and, 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 and... I don't remember what the other one was. The big things with the horns. I don't know. Anyway... Point being, oh wow, wow, damn, this shit looks clean. This looks so much cleaner. God, I love it. I need to go get some more trophies. Let's explore the rest of it. Oh, snap, look at this. Damn. It's looking good. Probably shouldn't have taken that. No, I have no hand fiber in that plant. I got a little kitchen in here. Make up some delicious stew. We'll talk in a second, Major Domo. I want to see what the upstairs looks like. An armor stand. I could put some badass armor on there. Oh, and we have the guest room. So now Dandelion can come and stay for a little bit, I suppose. As long as he doesn't molest my vineyards. Renovations coming along all right, Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In other news, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll wish to see. If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right now, BB. The grounds haven't improved much. Oh, look, they decorated it, repainted it. Grounds look about the same, but the house looks much better. Strange. Something behind this wall, I think. have been an alchemist at one time. Bombs and potions have gained an additional charge. That's really badass. 
And this is a full dismantling station. <clears throat> oh, I can dismantle these! That is awesome! Can transform mutagens taken from monsters back into their lesser versions. Wow. So I could break down all this crap. Does that cost money every time I do that? Hmm. That's quite nice to have. So this one just gives me additional charges. Transmutation of mutagens taken from monsters into mutagens of more common sort. Okay, so it's just a note discussing that that's now possible down here. Which is very nice. That'll, uh... Actually, you know what? I don't even need the damn ingredient. I can, uh... We can finish our build right here using this. I can dismantle and get a couple of green mutagens. Okay, and now to alchemy. Now we need two greater greens. And we are all set. Might as well upgrade those as well. And now under character, we go here. Very nice. So from here, I could upgrade into this with five ability points. So just a 45% damage decrease, which I don't really need. Um, the one thing that kind of sucks is you can only have one of these equipped at a time. Um, but I do get extra mutation slots. The color of your ability you activate in the extra slot must match the color of the active mutation. Advanced mutations distinguished by their yellow color require multiple types of mutagens. You use for combat signs and alchemy, but I'm guessing those can be used anywhere. So, uh, on that note, I have another, uh... Hmm. Well, darn. Now I don't know if I want protective coating or if there's something else I should have picked up. Don't think refreshment is worth it. Potion overdose threshold isn't needed. Um, I actually want to be overdosing because through overdosing I can get benefit from Endure Pain. Uh, above zero, no, not worth it. Bombs, not worth it. Pyrotechnics, not worth it. Refreshment, not worth it. So I guess this will be good and I'll start putting uh, the remainder of my skills in here. Just give me a flat out 25% um, bonus protection against whatever I'm oiled up against. Since I will always be oiled anyway for the benefit of poison, so it's pretty nice. Let's see what else we can get him to build real fast before we wrap on up, though. BB, know anything about the laboratory in the cellar? One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. 
But I understand that to a Witcher this must be a very intriguing fight. It is. It was walled up. The equipment's pretty ancient too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started working here. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff, though. Got dragonglass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I fear I don't follow. Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's no comparison. Then I am all the more delighted you discovered it, sir. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see... The grounds. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the... Need herbs in the garden? So. Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur... Good idea. The idea... Will you be need... Let's get Roach's stable. I shall get... Will you be needing anything? Let's see what else the house has. Better bed, another weapon rack, more armor stands, guest room, or something else. Oh, well, obviously I want a super baller bed. Bonus to vitality. Is there anything... Let's see if the other weapon rack does anything for us. Two additional racks. Don't need racks. I understand. Actually, you know what? Why the hell not? If we're going, let's go all in. Get me more weapon racks. Get me more armor stands. We're gonna pimp this house. This is... This is, uh... Was wondering... Oh, but that is... MTV Cribs. Yeah, I can... The Witcher edition. No. I shall be glad to... And to wrap things up, let's whoop his ass in some gwen. Funny you should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years. But that was so long ago. I fear I've limited my interest to collecting now. Managed to assemble quite the set of decks. Huh. Sounds interesting. Mind showing me what you got? Not at all, sir. But only in action. Ru May the best man win. Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Oh, that is awesome! He's like your own personal Gwent buddy! Skellige seems most appropriate for you. As you wish. Would you prefer I use my strongest deck or a weaker one? Oh, this is so good. Feeling lucky today. Use your strongest. At your surface, sir. Well then, let us... That is awesome. It's like... Oh man, god, that's just so cool. It's like, that's, that is what Gwent has needed for a long time. The ability to just be like, I want to play against this and uh you know set the difficulty is awesome mm, gaunter mm, i mean this hand's not bad it could be better but it's not bad by any standard i think i can i can run this hopefully i draw some more spies Scorch and Old Geard. I can work with that, I guess. Ah, oh, you are running with Cow as well. I am also running Cow. Ah, <laughs> he passed. You cheeky prick. Made me waste Gaunter. That's a nice little boost of damage there. Probably could have saved. Well. So this is where we go with our stronger cards first. That way we can bait out some stuff, hopefully before he tries to drop out a Scorch.
It's a good play. I should have done that before he had a chance, but a little bit late for that now. Oh. I really want to take out his long ships with a scorch. But I'd end up hitting my uh, own eight as well before that, so I'm hoping he'll buff that side as well. In the meantime, I'll keep buffing this. I might have to take out the 16. Uh, I should have waited. I could have gone for a big trade, taking out the eights. Hennifer, what can you pull on out? It was also a misplay. Could have killed off one of my own eights and then brought it back before buffing it. Alright, let's get rid of... Oh no, wait, those are all 16s now. Nice. They're gone. And then with that, he's basically lost any chance he had at winning. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? <coughs> that is awesome. This is why I want a Skellige deck. Triggers transformation of all Berserker cards on the same row. Wow. I mean, un unfortunately for you, I'm going to also uh, destroy those. Ha <laughs> ha, you cheeky prick. It won't matter. He's got three cards. And that is it. The Master Skellige deck is defeated. Congratulates you on your victory. Maybe later. Cuts as you wish, sir. Did I get a card off of him? Thanks. I did not. Well, that sucks. Uh, either way, that is the house, ladies and gentlemen. It's looking quite nice after some refurbishing. Obviously, if we wait a little bit longer, uh, it'll get even better. We'll have weapon racks and all kinds of stuff, but just to... To give you the uh, new breakdown on... There we go. With all of our stuff up now. With the new spec. Oh, hang on. I gotta, I gotta put on... Well, whatever. We don't have oil on. But as you can see, we are in the range of 2,300 silver damage. Almost... F or no, excuse me. 4,000 on the strong attack. 2,350 on the fast attack. 15% bleeding, 15% poison, of course, that'll come in via the uh, <clears throat> the poison that we apply to our blade. 25% damage reduction coming in from the oil. And then on top of that, vitality close to 14,000. And 217% sign intensity. So, all in all, we are basically absurdly powerful at this point. Yeah. So... Either way, we are going to be uh, jumping back into some other quests come later. Maybe this. This sounds like it could be fun. We'll go back, do the Great Balls one since I kind of left that on off, and then maybe we'll uh, jump into a contract. So either way, make sure to stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys next time with more blood and wine goodness.